All right, I believe we reached a point to where we can check our progress. In past tutorials, we have made an eye tracker that was successful. And if you scale it, you can cause the character to go cross-eyed. We have created eyelid controls. If we grab it, we can change the attitude of the eyelid. And if we scale it, we can close the eyelid. And if we scale it out, we can act. <gasps> What the fuck? What? What you say, son? Type of thing. Now we last left off. We last, the last we left off. We had just completed the eyelids, and I believe I said that I wanted the eyelids to track somewhat with the eyelid, with the eyeballs. So, what we're going to do is add another bone. And the neat part of this is that we don't have to add any more constraints to the two new bones we're going to add. And I'll show you why. So I'm just going to grab the eye bone, this bone right here, go into the bone edit mode, make sure that your cursor is snapped to the root of this bone. Shift D, period, scale out, and that's it. And that's what we should get. You see, since these bones duplicated their constraints, this is actually what we want except for the second one the green bone I'm going to get rid of the locked track constraints which it duplicated from its duplicate and I'm gonna call this I base so this is I base dot L I base Dot R. And these little and these big bad boys are going to be the parents of the eyelid bones and our little eyelid control. As you can see, that these bones are tracking and they stop rotating because they have the, this bone has the same IK rotation limit, which is a good thing. So, I'm going to parent these eyelid deforming bones to this big bad boy, to eye base. So, another thing that's new in Blender, what you couldn't do in previous versions, you can grab multiple bones and then parent them to the same bone at once. Control P, keep offset. Voila! Now we have tracking eyelids. Now we, I want them to track up and down, not side to side. All we have to do is hit lock Y rot and lock Z rot on this big bad boy right here. And of course we can lock his location, rotation, and scale since we're never actually going to be using this bone at all. This is just a helper bone. And oh, oops. And there we have it. We have a working eye rig. All right. Now let's go back to my format. Jaws, jaw, eyes, eyebrows. So eyebrows is next and this is where we're actually going to be starting which is where we're actually going to start using lattices because along with eyebrows comes face we're getting to the face so that actually concludes this tutorial there's a working eye rig I use it I love it and now you know it and one more thing, 
you'll notice that on the bone edit options you have a total of let's see one six seven eight eight ten, sixteen layers so there's a lot of these bones that are in the way and we're never actually going to be using these bones in animation so grab all these bones go into edit mode even grab the main targets and move them to layer 16 and look how much clay Look how much cleaner that is. You can actually see the eyes. Dang it. Another thing you can do in, in this new version of Blender, which you couldn't do in old, older versions, if you, if you move bones to a different layer in edit mode, it'll actually move all the bones on the opposite side to that same layer. Ain't Blender cool? Okay. We are done with eyes. Next is eyebrows and the face.